in the Weinberg Boys High School Engineering and Graphic Design Faculty Extension Building. So I'm Greg Scott. So the brief was fairly loose. The school was part of a pilot project to introduce technical subjects into mainstream education. Um, so you could do it at the normal department education schools as opposed to technical colleges. They were introducing new subjects into the curriculum and we needed to create some new spaces as well as, as edit some of the existing spaces to fit um, workshops and lecture rooms. This building was was conceived of as very much as, as just a clue, as a, as a catalyst to skin the building differently, to create a different series of spaces and to take bricks and elevate them from traditional one on top of each other stretcher bond, maybe even just some English bond, um, into an entire art form and craft in itself and reintroducing the the craft of masonry um, back into the building industry is just taking the simple and elevating it by, by application and consideration. So coming up with the brickwork details was fundamental to the whole process, um, to the point where the coral brick guys are amazing. We asked them if they had many bricks, we had seen this somewhere, and they delivered tens or hundreds of these little bricks for me to sort of play with. It was like going back to my childhood where we started assembling brick facades in the studio and figuring out ways we can make them balance and interlock. And a huge part of it was was actually using the bricks as permeable facades, so allowing light and ventilation with glazed walls behind them, uh, sticking bricks, new bricks onto old bricks, and it very much was like a combination of Lego and Tetris with these mini bricks. So I would guess that the building is named the Porcupine <laughs> because the, the, the spiky facade that you see, which is obviously the relief of the bricks that point out and the bricks that don't, and the fact as the sun plays across them, it looks like a series of spikes. And I think it's probably testament to the fact that we also purposely moved away from very straight rectilinear forms and allowed a, a more organic tempered form to take place. And then using the brick as a small building element to allow us to shape facades as opposed to big, strong, industrial, straight edged, rigid, elements, uh, it feels a little bit more like an animal or landscape or something a little bit more organic. We actually used a whole series of brick details that we had to develop for the building. You know, we had curved facades, we had ventilated facades, we had copings, cappings, uh, sills, all of these which, as I said, we, we, we developed with the little mini bricks. I've always been fascinated, I've always loved brick architecture. You know, probably from the mid-century where there were brisolets that were done and then amazing flagship projects that came out of, out of Africa, China, where they were limited in terms of what they had available, so they had to express themselves with bricks. The benefits of face brick are manifold. <laughs> Firstly, bear in mind this is a boys' school and boys are not gentle. Um, so I think maintenance and resilience is, is key to that. A big part of the face brick, which I probably haven't touched on in the decision for it and using it to express itself, is construction was integrated into the new curriculum. So a fundamental part of what we were doing was educating the boys by the way we put the building together. The guys who were currently doing it could watch the building up, but any construction students over the years could come and actually see how bricks are assembled and buildings are assembled. So hopefully they can treat construction as a design subject in a way. It would not have been possible if Corobrick had not come to the party. We didn't have the budget for face brick and the, the extra layers that it took to, to create this look and, um, and transform the campus the way we have, the beginnings of it as we have. I do need to give a nod to Coral Brick because they came to the party, they donated bricks, they subsidised the brickwork and they were always on hand to facilitate us. So when the time came to go shopping for bricks, 
obviously went to Corabrick. Um, as a student, they they always sponsored the awards. Um, so for us, there, there was no break like Corabrick. In fact, we didn't even know where else to shop.